Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know, Madeira, well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. Just put in Boss Talk Podcast 101 on any platform, and you'll find us. We appreciate it, and we love you. Man, hey man, thank you guys for liking, subscribing to the channel, man. Hey, as you already know, this guy don't need no introduction, man. He's been on here. He frequents the show. Mm -hmm. He said he was going to come more, bro, but he ain't been here as much as I would like, man. We trying to hold him in here every time he coming to Dallas. We missed him a few times, didn't we? Yes, T-Rail is back in the building, man. What's definitely, going on, man? Definitely here, man. Big Rail. That's just my third time. Big Rail. Big Rail. Like yeah, we changed the name. Big Rail. Big Rail. Man, man, what's going on, man? I mean, you, you, man, your music is always on point. That's never, ever been an issue. You always are working everybody, man. How, what, what keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? Well, I have different motivations for different things. Like music-wise now, I just want to be, I just want to be the best. Wow. Like now, I'm in a mode where I just want to be the best. Like the best. I'm, I'm in the studio every night, you know, mm -hmm. um, working, constantly working. So I want to, I want to be the best version of myself. Are you the type of person that downfalls push you harder? Yeah, yeah. Whenever I'm going through something, that's when you, that's when you gonna get the best me. Mm -hmm. So I'm very toxic. Mm. Uh, I might, I might cheat on my woman or something. <laughs> so she cussed me out. You know what I'm saying? So I have something to write about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I really, I really, music. yeah, hardship makes the best T-Real. Yeah. I think it makes the best music. I'm, t I'm tired of hearing the same old, uh, trap rapping. Mm -hmm. I, I want to hear what you're going through. I want to relate to you. I want to see why you're in the position you're in. So a lot of people who relate to me really relate to what I'm going through in my life. So that's, yeah, you get the best me when I'm hurt. I enjoy reading all your comments whenever you post anything. I really go through and read them comments because your fans are something else. The love that they have for you, yeah, man, I feel it. It's not even for me, but I feel it. Well, I was talking to Moray one time, and he was telling me, like, he was like, we, he was in my living room. We got done with a studio session. He was like, bro, I wish I was kind of like you where you built a fan base, like you built a foundation. So I, from all the years that I've been on the road, the foundation has been built. Mm -hmm. So these they're not fans of me, they're family to me. My fans is family. So when I go to East City, I got a set amount of family in East City. They're gonna come see me regardless if I come mm -hmm. two or three times. Mm -hmm. They love me. They they they're into not just me, my music. There's people that don't even know T Rail music. Mm -hmm. They know T Rail and his son. They know T Rail and and my shopping habits. It's just they really be into my life. That's right. what happens when you be when you give them more of a story and less music. Because that's what you do. Especially, especially on your Instagram and stuff like that. But, you know, just like I asked you a question about your downfalls and your disappointments and how it pushes you more, how did um, that situation where you were put off that tour? Oh, Blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. How that, did that's that my push you there, even boy. harder? Oh, it made, me, it made me go extra hard. You know, I was on my phone 24-7. I was in my mind. I was in studios. I'm, I'm constantly sitting here putting together my mind like, nah, ain't no, ain't no L's here, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I ain't, I ain't gonna see him lie like it don't it didn't hurt because um, when a person is you you see a person as your friend that's my biggest that's one of my biggest downfalls too I friend a lot of people and that's because of my big heart I friend a lot of people and I I'll be like okay you my dog and then when it when it when somebody do something behind your back and it's like that it hurts but it only gave me more fuel. But what lesson did you learn? Because God put us through different situations to open our eyes to certain situations. So in my mind, everything we go through, you have to take a step back and be like, okay, God, what do I need to learn from this situation? Well, it just taught me to be more on guard, you know, mm -hmm. uh, not trust as much. Um, I mean, you still have my big heart, mm -hmm. you know, still still be the caring t rail that I am, exactly. still be the loving t rail that I am, but I've got to protect my heart more, you mm -hmm. know. Um, ask more questions or mm -hmm. you know just really be more on guard with my with my energy mm -hmm. and who i give it to and learn how to read people better yeah yeah because i could understand that because when you um came on social media and said what you said i felt it because in any situation when somebody tell you that this is a situation and you put all your ducks in a row yeah prepared for that you Man. know what i mean <laughs> and I, I remember when you said well i canceled this and i did this and i did that just so i could be able to do this yeah he's my friend i seen i seen young blue as a friend right i seen him as a partner I, you know i remember young blue 
when he had a little Boosie chain on. I'm talking about a B chain on with the crown on it. That's, what, that's the chains Boosie used to give his artists. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even Boosie's artist. Boosie, mm-hmm. I paid Boosie to get on tours. Right. You know, I was just a, a person, I was a customer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, that turned into a friend. You mm-hmm. know, um, I remember Young Blue when he first came around and nobody knew him. And that's so that's how, that's what really bothered me. Like, come on, bro. We, you know where we both come from. So I see you as on a come up. I have children, you have children. I don't wish no bad on nobody who got a family to feed. That's another, that's another family out there that's eating. So I don't wish no bad. I just want people to be solid. Be real about your word. Is this a friendship that can be repaired even with a discussion? I've tried to reach out to Young Blue. He don't, he's not the phone talker type. Mm-hmm. And he ain't text back. I mean, I'm, I'm only gonna reach out so many times. Like, right. We both grown men, and I'm not about to chase nobody. Let's okay. back up. You know, y'all jump right on into it, like, like you know, like it was a pond <laughs> the buzzer, of water. Yeah. The y'all, you know what? We really don't know what happened. Uh, uh, don't want to get in your business too much. I heard about you being kicked off the tour. I want details though. What happened that day that made that happen? You feel in your heart, you know what? What did you say something to him? Did y'all have a conversation before that? No. Let's so, be real. No, I'm being real. So it's basically, Boosie called me early in the morning time. It's like a couple weeks before tour started. Mm-hmm. So it's Boosie that started. Yeah. So yeah. Boosie, Boosie yeah. called me. Yeah. And he was like, uh, so I mean, just, Boosie got to pay. <laughs> Boosie, yeah, nigga, stop playing with me. You know this is what I do. Yeah, Boosie yeah. called. Boosie called me and said, "Hey, real, I need some hooks from you. I'm dropping the deluxe album." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "By the way, your album hard because he he just dropped the album." And I'm like, "Your album hard, bro." I'm it like, is. I listen to that whole. That's one of that's one of the best Boosie albums I heard in a minute. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yes. I'm, as a friend, I'm like, hey, "Your album hard." I like I like that song. You got jail talk. He's like, "Oh, you like jail talk? I'm about to shoot the video tonight." And he, I didn't know he took a screenshot picture of me. Boom. Mm. Posted me on. Instagram. And then he was like, shout out my boy T Rail for showing love. I get a phone no, my boy Carlos get a phone call. My manager Carlos get a phone call. Instantly and it's and blue manager get on the phone. It's just start downplaying my character. You know, start start talking irate, downplaying my character. And I, I really wasn't for it. I'm not I'm not gonna sit back and let nobody just keep not, you ain't about to keep talking about me. I'm I'm a whole mama say what I gotta say. So I said what I had to say, they kicked me off tour right there on the phone. And um, because Boosie posted me on Instagram, it was because of a post. But I, I feel like you asked me to go on your tour. I didn't come to you. I didn't. I didn't DM you. You DM me, and you knew that me and Boosie had a relationship before you asked me to come on tour. And you know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't come to you and knowing y'all cool, and now I'm not cool with her, and 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 then expect you not to be cool. Not knew what I was getting into before I asked you. Now it goes a little deeper because. Y'all got these empire ties, right? Okay. Yeah. So it don't it, it don't just stop at the surface. It's a lot. Like like I know Boosie has a thing where him and you know Blue have an issue with mm-hmm. the empire situation. Did you not think that some kind of way this stuff could be a trivial thing? You know, far as when you when you start to even deal with it, because you know and I know that these guys ha- are having a major issue in the industry. Yeah, I've seen it, but I really, I, I really try not attention. to be a part yeah, of it. I'm, I'm focused on me, man. I, mm-hmm. and I'm focused on what I got going on. Yeah, I may see something online, but I'm really focused on what I got going on. It's not my business. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's definitely not my business. Do you think going forward, like the next person that you go on um, a show with, or ask, even if they ask you to come on a show with them, especially if you hear about a situation like this, do you think it would be proper for you to just go to them and say, hey, you know me and them are friends. Will this be an issue? I mean, yeah. I can, just to make that part, just get that out of the way so you're not wasting your time, so to say. Yeah, personally, I'm, I'm going to tour myself. Okay. So that whoever going to tour, I'm going to tour with T-Rail next. You know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I know I can tour my own. Mm-hmm. I can hold my own. I've done it before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I wanted the opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I gave up shows for opportunity. Right. So on that, when I say on that, on that note, yeah, if I, if I see that type of situation occurring, I probably won't even uh, get in the situation. Won't even go into it. No. Yeah, it was a smart thing to do. Mm-hmm. Um, congratulations on your, um, is it restaurants? I have a lounge. A lounge. And a club. And a club. I was so happy for you when you when you posted the first one, and then in no time you posted the second one. <laughs> yeah. Like, dang, you rolling a little bit fast. Yeah, my new nickname is Big Boss Real. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Big Boss Man Real. You what know, motivated you to get into it? You know, I have a manager who always talks about being corporate, and mm-hmm. I and I try to tell him that hood niggas can be corporate too mm-hmm. and still be hood niggas. And um, <laughs> now, nah, for real though, I I, I love clubs, mm-hmm. and 
I, I lived in Atlanta for a year and a half, and I had to ask myself, why did I move to Atlanta? I'm from Topeka, Kansas, a small city. We don't have no clubs. We don't got no radio stations. We don't got no, we don't, we don't got studios. So basically what I want to do in my hometown is I want to build everything that made me want to move to Atlanta for. Wow. You know, uh, I seen you flossing with your restaurant, your whatever. You got so much. No, no, you got money. When people got money, they get changed, they get new cars. I watch this stuff online because I don't go out no more, so that's all I got. I go out on Instagram and I go out on, on all these different platforms, and that's how I see him. When I see T-Rail, he's with Tank, he's with all these different people. This is how it lays out for me. 85 South Show, all of y'all be together. Yeah. Then you hear about you and Boosie and Blue. It's a whole world out there. You know, I only can look on the online stuff and see yeah. what's really going down. Everybody been reaching out lately. Mm -hmm. Kevin O'Leary, yeah, Damon see? John, see wow. Damon John, Shark Tank, you know, yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, 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 yeah. You better get Tech up. Nine. Everybody, I'm so glad I got you. Yeah, I saw you with Tech Nine the other day. Too. Yeah, I've been on fire lately. That's I don't dope. know, man. God, but been doing do you this think that because of what happened with you with the with that situation uh, that I people, people started? I think yeah. people know how humble I really am. Because people Pe care about you. People, I'm not just. People know this. I'm rare. Well, what did Boosie say? I want to go back there because I walked off for a second. Mm -hmm. But what did he say? When all this happened, I heard him online a little bit, but I really was paying more attention to Yuko. Boosie ain't been on Boss Talk yet. So okay. when I don't pay attention to a lot of stuff and it ain't been on Boss Talk 101. For sure. So I just looked the other way. I said, what T-Rail say? And I'm done, because that's the side I'm rolling with. Okay. I don't want to even be influenced by nothing else. I'm kind of, I ain't going to lie, I'm a little biased when it comes down to who ain't been on, who haven't, you know. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just being real petty. I'm real petty. So, yeah, I looked at Joe. I was like, damn, Boosie owe my boy money now. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, because I know you love him. I, love I know him. he's your boy. I know y'all started out. He let you rock out on the show. I got the story on on tape. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to tell you this. Before Boosie made that post, he about called the you. video. No, he didn't call me. Before he made the video, shouting out, called him Young Blue Clown. I was at 300 and, I was at 319,000 followers. Now I'm sitting at 333,000 followers. Mm. Boosie paid me with, that many followers, <laughs> that quick, I, that's worth more than money right now to me. Yeah. It is. My page is on fire. The, yep. It woke people up to who T-Rail is. Mm -hmm. It made people that didn't listen to my music like, oh, this dude raw. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really talented because I feel like I'm a, I'm slept on. Mm -hmm. I feel like people really don't know how really raw I am. And when the people, it took a beef. It took, not even a beef. It took a situation. A situation. To open eyes to people who I, who I am. I ain't never been on so many vlogs in my life in one day. You know yep. what I'm saying? I was on XXL. I'm you were on, on Vlad too. Vlad. I'm on. It. I'm on Say Cheese, who never posts T Rail. <laughs> I seen it. And I'm one of the biggest. I, I'm not even from Dallas, and I feel like I'm one of the biggest artists from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> and I should be posting more on there. I should no, be posting more. My videos yeah. should be posting you more. Hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, uh, so yeah, money. I don't need no money from him. I'm making my own money. I got a show tonight. Full back end pay, so I'm mm. good. You know, I got a show tomorrow. Full back end pay, and I'm good. They don't got owe me nothing. What he? he it's everything ain't always payment of money. That's right. Especially with me. Mm -hmm. I see value in certain different things. I see value in friendship. I see value in, in, in the love you show. I see, I see value in the, the following that you just helped me with. The, the tour's cancel. I would have been off, I'd be at home anyway. They canceled the tour. You see how God don't like ugly. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't even know that. But I still gained 13, 14,000 followers. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I think one thing about it, you know, it, it really, the handwriting's already on the wall, man. God already had it pur purpose styled in the way it was going to be. God said be that still. That was a part of it. God you said know be what still. I mean? it's, vengeance is his. He said be still. I don't, I don't have to say anything or do anything. I think I think everything that happened happened for a reason, as yeah. as Miss Jamaica always say. Always, I, I just, my place. That's right. I mean, you. I mean, the music, man. Like I said, Tech Nine. I want to go back there. He. I met Tech Nine. Uh, I actually had his cousin in here the other week, and we tried to get him on the line. He was mm -hmm. at some awards show in the South, down in Mississippi, I believe it was. But at any rate, um, what the hell y'all doing together? Man, Tech is OG, bro. That I'm, nigga has got a cult following, too. Oh, you deal man. with niggas with cult following. That's yeah. what you like. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you, bro. I was asleep. It was like, I, I heard my phone ring. I, I said, Tech, nah, hit me up. I said, what's going on? He said, hey, man, I'm in the studio till 3 o'clock. Now, you get here before the end, you can, you can pop in on me. Boy, I hopped out of bed so damn fast. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I forgot my jewelry, everything. Had y'all talked before? Y'all always talk? And we talk. But he's always busy. Yeah. I'm always trying to catch him. Yeah. I finally caught him. 
Got him. You feel what I'm saying? But I live an hour away from Kansas City, so I had to get on the highway. I hopped out of bed, boom, boom, boom. I don't think even, I brush my teeth. I ain't gonna hold y'all. <laughs> I, I got up, I hopped in the, I said, this is Tech Nine, bro. This, I've been listening to Tech Nine since I was a little kid. And, um, I'm, you know, it's probably how New York, it's how, probably how New York artists look at Jay-Z. I look at Tech Nine the same way. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, he, he the biggest thing from my area, my region, my jurisdiction. Nobody's, nobody has ever been reached Tech Nine level. I went to Strange Land. I seen all them buildings and studios and clothing factories and, Live stages, I said, all oh, this motivation. That boy, that serious man, has always had. I remember when he, you know, was really, really like, like people coming over to the store trying to find his product because you couldn't find it. He kept it so isolated to his own brand. Yeah, I'm talking about about ten years ago to where you couldn't get it, but the people kept coming to my store trying to figure it out. How, can you get it? And I had met him, so they see his pictures and stuff on the wall. Yeah, and, and I knew his merchandise, but I just didn't have. I, I didn't realize have a lot product. about a game off of tech. Yeah, he's all A lot man. of me is like I watch Tech Nine, so because I don't got all the super outlets and um and I'm I got a co fan base, like you say. I can go to East City, I've been doing it for years, I've been doing it for years, so I got a lot of image from him. So now we really stepping into the merch game. But it was good to have an actual one on one with him. There wasn't no managers. There wasn't no producers. There wasn't no label heads. It was just me and Tech Nine mm -hmm. sitting there and having a good conversation. That's and I learned a lot, and it was really inspiring. Wow. So did you, did you guys get get something put down? Or? Oh yeah. And actually, he actually heard a record I got with E Forty coming out, and I didn't know that him and E Forty was cousins. What? Like they blood cousins. That's what well, we heard on this show. Shout out to E Forty. That's my guy. He <laughs> followed me on, but but Tech, you don't follow me, nigga. I'm just gonna go and be real with you. <laughs> I mean, you know, I met you when you didn't, you really didn't have, you didn't have a whole bunch back then. You had some millions, but not like you got now, nigga. You know I know. Yeah. <laughs> Love this nigga. <laughs> he cool, bro. <laughs> I always shout him out Isn't on Isn't that show. what his cousin told us? That Take Nine told him? That him and E-40 is cousins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, yeah, he, he did, did say he that did. on the show. I learned a lot about him that, that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard, yeah. man. I think that's something that, like, to even be in those 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 conversations, right? Yeah, with, with the E forties, mm -hmm. with the with the uh, with with all those guys, Tech Nine, with you know the tanks. Your, got, name, your the, name is just ringing really in the right rooms in the right places. So if if you continue to work like you've been working, and can't nothing but good come from it. Mm -hmm. I support the old, uh, I support the people who came before me. Yeah, because they're who you want to learn from. Yeah, you know, like a lot of them help me out. They give me a lot of advice, and I listen. You mm -hmm. know, um, I ain't gonna hold you. Rain try to keep me away from older people. Tell like, Rain to stop like, that, man. They old, they old he always around. saying that. Like, he's coming around because he went down there to that damn chill burger. He just was uh -huh. on here and he said, man, I never got to meet all them older guys, man, and Bum beating them. So he, cool. he, 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 he And he learned a lot. He's yeah. figuring stuff yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, bro. I'm trying. To, I've been telling it for years. Like, bro, that's that's the wave right there. Mm -hmm. And I hold you. I I even talked to a lot of promoters. Promoters like booking the, the older, older artists more than the younger artists because older artists hitting you 90k, and they can't. You can't sell nothing now. But these older artists, they they got more singles. They got they got more catalog. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? And experience. And experience and they price is perfect. Perfect. So I I, I watched them and I listened to them. I remember I was doing contracts one time and, and Mike Jones was teaching me about contracts. Mm -hmm. wow. Don't sign this. This right here is gonna lock you in this. They they I'm listening to you. You've been through this. How he cold is that though? He's real he's another one that I look at that he he learned the game through experience. He yeah. had some hell of a bumps that he hit, and when he hit those bumps and those bruises, now he giving back by sharing his information with you and others. Yeah. He was doing it real heavy on uh, Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. He was on there just giving all the jewels away to everybody, trying to get everybody yeah. up on the game. You listen to him; he real smart with contracts. Yeah, he real smart with that, and he gonna keep you out of a bad situation. So, how did you and Mike Jones even meet? I met Mike Jones. I used to be a promoter. Okay. Before I even did music, I was a promoter and a host. And I used to book Texas artists all the time. Kansas, I used to make so much money booking Trilly, Prince Rig. I booked GS Boys, Party Boys, Mike Jones, Lil Flip, Mo3. I used to book everybody. I used to bring them all to uh, Lawrence, Kansas, Kirko Bangs, ask any of them. I used to book them. And that's how I got cool with all of them. And I used to do songs with them. Then I turned mm -hmm. in from being a promoter to being a host to being an artist. Wow. You know, so uh, that's how I got cool with everybody that do all the music out here. Young Nation was like my little brothers. 
What? Yeah. Yeah. Reed, 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 I, Fooly, just, I talked to Fooly two Fooly, days ago. That's you? my boy, man. I used to come out here kicking with DJ Merck all the time. Go to church with him. Shout out to Fooly and his dad. I went down to that Atlanta and ate his dad's restaurant over there. Mm-hmm. He got his pops got a restaurant down there by you. Did you know that? Seafood uh-uh. Phil. Seafood Phil. Shout oh, out. He said he got one in Atlanta. That's right. Yeah, yeah, in Atlanta. yeah, yeah, yeah I went yeah. down there and filmed. Okay, that's yeah. crazy. Show yeah. love, man. I, man, I love Young Nation. They're my boys, man. I used to kick a little twist. We kicking the car with him all the time. Talk to him the other week. That's why I said I'm not from Dallas, but. It's like I'm from here too, cause I used to be here all the time. Man, that's 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 live, man. That's real live. Like who? So who do T Rex? First of all, don't let me ask you who you want to work with next. You called me with that bogus call. I was excited about you and Marae and the Reds Deshaun doing that damn music together. You didn't. It, it fell through. I talked to the Reds. I said, the Reds, man, what happened to the, the damn me? He said, man, everybody got different stuff going on. Blah. I don't want to hear that, bro. <laughs> now st- I ain't gonna hold you. Me and the Reds is is on it. We, Y'all got a million songs we, together. We got, we got the, I got the whole album on my phone. Yeah. I got the whole album on my phone. We gonna do a listening session. I'm gonna hear something. Yeah, man. gotta hear it, man. So what, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the problem? Will y'all ever be able to put something together? Yes, we're just waiting on Moray. Really, it's Moray. I'm gonna be honest. Is he Hollywood? He no, Moray. Yeah, I don't said it. The nigga that, Hollywood. Right? Damn. He don't see no, that, Moray. Come Moray. on, bro. You holding up my music, man. I don't play like that. <laughs> he nigga. just, he just, he just going through a situation where he want to be bossed up, and I, I understand him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's a real one. He called me on the phone. We had a great conversation. The music is great. It ain't old to nobody because nobody's heard it. Nobody's you heard it. You know what I'm saying? So when we put it out, just know the big three going to be the be biggest right. thing. The big three, I waited on it, man. It's called. I'm going to show you. I changed it to three the hard way, but I was messing it. I tell everybody about it, man. Three the hard way. Come it was out. a vibe yeah. in there when we made that album. I'm wow. talking about, we made it in three days. I remember I'm I was talking, talking to it you. It made it, when Moray going to do a verse, it made me want to go harder than him. When it, I went to do a verse, it made the Reds want to go harder than me. So it's like we, it was just an, it was just a vibe in there. Everybody want to be better than the next person, and it just end up what, what it really showed and what I really was proud of it was it showed that we're three different people. Mm. Yeah, I get tired of everybody saying T. Rail sound like the Reds. <laughs> the Reds sound like Moray. Moray sound like Rod Wave. Rod Wave. This could be all fat. We don't sound the same. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. we totally do. three different people went through three different lifestyles, come from three different regions. For you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna hear uh, and it's gonna show it in this. It's gonna show it in the music. Now you're gonna give it. Now you might be able to put us separately. This is Moray sound. This is T. Rail sound, and this is uh, the Reds and Sean sound. I still got to get y'all, you and Derez on here because y'all both disagree on who came out with the, the uh, you know. I mean, Derez go back and forth about this all the yeah, time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That pain style, you but know. But look at the, look at the I'm look just the telling thing. you, the nigga, the nigga don't agree with it. He say he was another how can name. I, how can he I agree gave me base? another name, bro. He said because his came he out. He had another name. But he didn't blow up before What me. was his no. name? What was the name, the first one? Was it Debo? It was something. It oh, was something. Derez did not blow up before <laughs> T-Rail. T-Rail blew up first. Say, but Derez, Derez said he was first. He went, he, platinum, he went platinum before me, but I blew up first. Wow. I, I got to get y'all in the room together. That's going to be good. I blew up first. I'm I, know that, I know y'all both y'all both <laughs> heavy and y'all both run down through there. That's my brother. Anybody. That's my brother. And I'll, but call, I'll call him on the phone and tell him, hey, man, look at the dates. My son blew up first. <laughs> You know, that's the one thing I love about y'all. Energy, y'all always linking up, man. It's great energy. Every time I talk to y'all, y'all done talk to each other, work mm-hmm. together, been in yeah. the studio. That's what this is all about, man, coming together and doing something great. Um, I want to give to your son, and I know i seen you and your son, man, dope the way you deal with your son, man. I want to say congratulations. Congratulations. Because he beat cancer again. Yes. I love that. I heard you when you chatted it out. I was so yeah. happy about that, bro. Me and my wife, we were sitting back just checking everything out. Like, how big was that for you? I know it was everything. Huge, man. Mm-hmm. Jordan, I'm so happy, bro. Man, you don't understand. God, God real, man. Um, Jordan is a ball of life, bro. Yeah. And um, that's why I'm doing this TV show with him. Yeah, it drops on his birthday, the twenty first. I okay. can't wait because okay. you've been talking you've been about talking it. You've been talking about it. You've been talking about it last time. Yeah, so we actually starting about to start shooting season two, but season one art it, it's kind of dated, but you're gonna it's still new to everybody. Okay, um, but I'm still putting it out. Mm. It's great footage, and you're gonna love it. It's gonna show the ins and out of people with disabilities. It's gonna show his cancer battles that he dealt with. Wow. But it's also gonna show how how lively he is. Um, Jordan is he's man, he's just different. I got I got three children and he's he's I'm talking about he's he's always the one that's always upbeat and happy. I don't care what he's going through. That boy had a tumor on his right testicle, still mm-hmm. smiling. Hey, still you know, smiling. still smiling. Uh cancer, still smiling. 
He just that's his Jordan, and I want to show the world Jordan. Wow. I want to show the world how beautiful people with disabilities really are because you treat them different. Yeah. Don't treat them different. They're they're great people. Autism, Down syndrome, Asperger's. You know what I'm saying? All of they all great people, and. I even learned about autism kicking it with my car, my boy Carlos's son. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, autism and Down syndrome, they're they're very hand in hand. They're, they're hand in almost, hand, but you right. can tell the differences between what are the, two. the differences. I'm gonna show that in season two. Wow. Okay. Because I'm gonna have Carlos. So people get them mixed up a lot. Yeah, yeah they do. So that's why I want to show the difference between Down syndrome and autism, mm -hmm. and, and on season two of Best Buddies, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be Corday and Jordan. I'm gonna have them on there on the on the show. That is so big. How man. much of how much of you? Um, were you in the, in the season one? Yeah, I'm all in season That's one. That's what I was trying to say, because I know you're busy traveling. That's why I'm like, how you find time to even be in there? <laughs> I, oh, it took me a week to shoot the whole season, first season. Okay. So what I do is I'll keep my son for a week. I'll, I'll clear a week out, and we, we do the whole season. Okay. You know, wow. six, six huge. episodes. Six That's episodes. That's huge, man. Okay. So, I mean, I hear you redo songs all the time, but you never put the old niggas on there that you steal the songs from. Uh, I just put Juvenile <laughs> on my last song. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to get to that, but I'm talking about these singing niggas. I don't know if you scared they're going to out sing you or they scared you, you, you know, vice versa. You must so, not know you on. <laughs> all I'm saying is, you and Tank, I seen you, I said, man, that'd be a good body tank. I body Tank on my last R song. We just ain't put it out. I, damn sure didn't there it go see what I mean is it then how he, we go now people, and a lot of people tell me my I deserve better now the, mm -hmm. the lyrics definitely definitely go hard he was begging he, I was telling know. him what I want no 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 he he definitely no, I, know. Love, I love Tank that's my boy I know Um, that's my boy that's my big brother he I actually know. I ain't gonna hold you that was one of the first text messages I got when the, the young young blue stuff happened oh yeah you know Tank preaching to me hey brother I need you to understand he I'm wants a, you to know I, yeah, he, 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 God he opened the doors nobody can sh he, he, you know pretty much brother. open a lot, of people, a lot of people hit me up but Tank was definitely one of the first I got a lot of love for Tank he, he's a real one for letting me redo his song period mm -hmm. Period, um, because there's some people that don't allow me to, but I'm, I'm a, I feel like I'm the R&B Lil Wayne. I can when it comes to this remixing. Mm -hmm. When Boosie, since he did what he did, you know, by posting your picture, when are we gonna get another song from y'all? You know, he owed you that much. Now. Yeah, we was talking about it. Yeah, he um, owed you that much. Now. We gonna get it done. You know, I'm tough on it. Yeah, we are. We love this done. nigga. That's why I be messing with. <laughs> I'm about to get him on your show. Or nah, something. nah, I love Boosie, man. It, 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 you know, Pimp C. That's I'm, that's my favorite all of time. Of course. So Boosie was birthed from that. Yeah. So I never That's my guy You it, can't really say it, it, I can say something you No, know, family is I can talk about the nigga But you come in here And say something <laughs> yeah, You not obvious. You not for saying About Facts. Boosie up here On it like that No I'm with it <laughs> Hey I, I love Boosie Yeah Without no, without Boosie help It would have been A lot harder for me I still mm -hmm. made it I firmly believe I still would have made it Without Boosie help He gave me that push Yeah he, I mean even though I paid Yeah you did Even though I paid But that's, mm -hmm. but that's how you But wrote. a person of Boosie stature When he got out of prison he could have charged me fifty bands for a feature. He get, he took ten. Right. He could have took. He could have charged me fifty bands like most of these bougie artists do for a video. He took eight. Mm. That's good. You know what I'm saying? And then came to my city and then still let me perform with them and kicked it with me all day and shot the video. You know, then let me go on tour. You know, I didn't have much money when it's time to pay for that tour because I had a other guy, somebody else with me, another investor, and he was paying for his artists to go on tour. Boosie looked at him and said, "No, give T Rail four of your shows." That wow. you pay for, or you're not going on tour. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Them four shows turned into three years worth of shows with Boosie for mm -hmm. free. And that's hard. And and that's what it's supposed to be. And, and that's what people don't think about when you pay something or you do something for people. It's an investment. It's an investment. Because yeah. it's, it's really just, you build relationships different ways, man. And however that person decides to deal with it, because they do have that value because they've been in the game. I get it. I tell everybody, any, any artist that come up, if you want a quick, Buzz. If you can hold your own and you want a quick buzz and you want a real fans, get a feature with Boosie. I, I, I look at I look at his podcast he do. I look at the interviews he do. I look at the interviews, uh, all the interviews and songs. Anytime a person starts off with Boosie, numbers. He's great on internet. Mm -hmm. He's amazing on internet. Look at um, Funny Marco's show. He used Boosie for the pilot. Mm -hmm. He used Boosie because he didn't have to trick Boosie. He didn't really ask real questions. The other people, it was more, you know, it was kind of scripted. But these people, Boosie was a real interview, you can tell. And it was really funny. Mm -hmm. um, it, that's, I, I just, Boosie, if you want to get a song, he ain't like the other big artists where you got to submit. And they want 50, 60. They ain't going to do it. You come with that bag, he going to work with you. And he got a big name. And he gonna, it, it's, it's going to help. It's wow. a, it, that's, that's how I feel. No, I get it. What, what about these the, the, the younger guys? I always look at you artists 
And I ain't gonna lie, you one of the, the ones who basically now you know in this lane where you could reach back and help some younger guys. Like, what are you doing to help the younger guys that's coming up behind you? Uh, really motivation. Really, they want to work with me. I do the same thing as Boosie do. Yeah, you know, I do. I do good features for them, and I let them open up at shows for me. And I want to do the same thing to help me out. Now it's up to you to have your own hustle. Cause I had to have my. I still even with the help, you still gotta have your own hustle about yourself. But I still I like motivation talking to them. I'm very, you know me. I'm very one on one with people. Yeah. You write me. I'm. It ain't. It ain't my manager writing you. It's me. Yeah. But I want to. That's what I look at, man. I so many artists come up and and they be just about themselves. Yeah. But there are so many younger artists that striving to do what they see. And if they really honest about it, and you have to have that spirit of discernment. I'm always plugging, bro. I'm always plugging. That's people. the whole game. Even if you don't know this or not, I'm always plugging people. I I, I can. I, I I feel like. Not on no cocky. I feel like I've made it to a certain level, mm -hmm. so I can I can be comfortable if I want to. I'm not comfortable, so that's what I'm not saying. I'm, what I'm saying is like, if I give you a chance to be around me, that's a that's a plug, bro. Because you never know who you what situations you're gonna be in. You know, you never know who you're gonna meet or where I'm gonna be. Because I got access to places that's, that 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 you don't have access to when you're just coming up. You know, and that that's a plug for you to get the rub shoulders. I went to Miami with Tank. And I met Diddy and Damon John. Now I think if you was just with me and you was just a homie, now you met the same people I met. They had the same opportunities as me, just having that opportunity to be around me. Some people gotta learn seeing value and being around a person. Mm -hmm. They always about money. Money is not always payment. Sometimes the the, the relationship is payment. Wow. That's how I see it. Cause I've dealt with some good relationships. Now Tank ain't pay me a dime. But going to Miami with him to go see with Damon John and Diddy mm -hmm. and, and everybody that I met was that's payment. payment. <laughs> okay, but okay, y'all, yeah, that's payment. What? That's, that's cliche. That is. That's cliche. No, it's not. It's payment. You need to tell me how. Yeah, y'all talk that talk. It's payment. What did you see in them? What did you see in them that helped spark those, something those in you? Those connections that you meet, as long as you use them in the right way and you rub shoulders the right way, you're gonna you're gonna do something with it. Just how you think I got Damon John and, and Kevin O'Leary to shout me out recently? That's what I'm saying. I That's met, what I wanted because, to hear. Because like, I was with I was with Tank and I met Chauncey, who 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 is that, who Damon who works with Damon close hand. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't just talk to the main people. I talk to people who's around them. That's always been one of my things. How you think I got more and more shows on Boosie tour? I wasn't just talking to Boosie. Everybody want to talk to Boosie. I was talking to Big T and Chill, who was Boosie security guard and DJ. You you I always go to the workers. Them people really doing the real work. That's so true. when you get in the time, you get to uh, be around this artist, use their connections, but really find who's find the little people around them, because that's the real deal plug. For mm -hmm. real. Wow. So when you got when you seen Damon John, like what did you see in him? Just meeting him that sparked something. That's I'm hate. a big Shark Tank fan. You <laughs> asked him about that Shark Tank show. I didn't ask him nothing. I really shook his hand shook and said thank hand. you. I met him. The person I talked to was Chauncey. The person sitting next to him. Okay. Because I, I'm an artist. Nine times out of ten, if I'm at a party, I'm drinking. You don't want to talk to me. Who you want to talk to is Carlos. Yeah. Carlos going to plug you more than I'm going to ever plug you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. it's still me plugging because he's going to ask me about it. Right. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, you want to talk to that man. Mm. You know, uh, but yeah, you all, that's my advice to artists right there, too. Don't always go for the artist. Go for the, the person who's really pressing the buttons. Mm -hmm. That's real. That's Go for real. the person pressing the buttons. I, I agree. 100%. What's your favorite epi episode or thing that Damon John does on Shark Tank that you love the most? Because you say you watch Shark Tank. I watch Shark Tank. Twenty. So tell me, what's what's the uh, most favorite? I ain't gonna thing? hold you. My favorite person on Shark Tank is Kevin O'Leary. Really? That, that's you shouting me out to. Mm, why? I love I love how he talks to people. I love how he, he's really firm about it. If it's, if it's a good idea, it's good. If it feels as bad, it's horrible. And he's gonna tell you. He's gonna be honest with you. Ain't no sugarcoating it. And I like how he always asks for the royalty deal. <laughs> he always asks for the royalty deal. Now, uh, to, you know, he's like, uh, well, for a small portion of the royalties, <laughs> you can keep the equity. I don't want the equity. Give me the royalties. And I, you know what I'm saying? If you yeah. if you don't like him, you say you're dead to me. Right. You right. know, like go ahead, go. Off. He's just real. I like I like Mark Cuban. I watch the show all the time, Barbara mm -hmm. and and, and, and um, I'll, uh, Richard be on there sometimes. I, I watch that show twenty four on my YouTube. Uh, you know, we need to have some all you entrepreneur hip hop artists. We need to have a show like that where we see how they're investing outside of the music. Mm -hmm. That would be, be a dope. damn good show. That'd be hard. <laughs> That'd be hard. <laughs> because we don't know why they're spending their damn money at. We know they got a lot of chains and shit on. No, but you know I think they purposely, a lot of artists purposely, um, especially when they've been doing it for a while, I think they purposely want to move in silence. They, they don't want nobody to know their movements. 
Well, that ain't the way it goes. Some of them ain't gonna be like that. Everybody not the same. Then you gonna some have of some, 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 some of them silence, 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 but some of them gonna want to tell you, "I'm investing in this," or "I got this going on." So that they, it's all to help somebody else. It's when not I, even when about I first saw the, with Nelly, all this flossing mm -hmm. or nothing like that. Like years ago, when I saw when I saw with Nelly, the first thing he ever told me was, "Get big in your city, buy 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 uh, real estate, yeah, of course, and get and get big with the, the higher ups in your city." He said, "Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna mean shit to New York." At the end of the day, you're not gonna mean shit to Chicago. You're gonna mean everything to your city. So get bigger where you're from. Mm -hmm. So right now, you know, in Topeka, I got my own day in my city. Um, I'm really close with the, uh, with the, the police department. I'm really close with the fire department. I'm really cool with the DAs and and people that's really downtown making the making the the decisions for the city judges. Mm -hmm. And you gotta really tap in so now everybody's rooting for me while I'm, now that I'm opening my own businesses like, I can tell because they did that write up about you and you were very ecstatic about that yeah man I, I, can, I can call I can call now the news station and interview for almost anything they mm -hmm. love me down there I, it's, I'm, I really feel like a household name in my town you know and I, I'm proud to be from Topeka, Kansas I'm proud to be from Kansas, period. Mm -hmm. And um, be a, to be a businessman and have people like Kevin O'Leary and Damon John shout me out, that right there lets me know, like, it motivates me to go harder in business. Like Ooh. I said, I'm big business rail now. You know when is saying? your lounge opening? I'm, I'm, my goal is getting over around November. Y'all definitely got to come out. Mm -hmm. I need to come up there, no cap. Both like of I, them? Uh, the same time? Uh, um, one in Cincinnati is already doing soft parties right we now. had a little scrappy okay. there a couple weeks ago it, okay. was, it was packed and he had a magician there he was killing I don't, I don't know who this magician was but he came he had it packed out he got a following i wow. said boy you have me part of your show wow <laughs> he came up yeah so cincinnati is, is called, i named cincinnati's mo's lounge okay, okay. long live mo three and i named my one in topeka parties lounge after my brother eight ball passed away and yeah, where's I the next both city stories huh? where's the next city you're gonna open another one i don't know probably dallas <laughs> need to it's your next need home to. might probably as well dallas. I love I love the way you're investing and, and just trying to do things to keep the memories of the people that you mm -hmm. love alive, bro. Mm -hmm. That's something that has to be spoken on. Like, there's a thing where I always ask about certain things that appeal. What was one of those things about Mo3 that, that really pretty much now you miss most of all? You know Realness. I mean? He was real. Mo3 Mo was real. Um, if he say he gonna do it, if he rock with you, he rock with you. If he don't, he don't. Um, I miss... Genuine friendship between, caught like peers, you know, like only person I really had that, like that with. That's my, my I feel my peers like DC Young Fly. Mm. Love wow. DC Young you Fly. You and DC real cool. Hell yeah, you know, it's most artists you call, they bougie, you don't pick up, they don't talk. I know people be busy, not even a text message back. You know, we, you know, we, 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 we lock in, or they say they're gonna do something, don't do it. Mo would do it. He would do it. We toured together. Chill together, laugh together, studios, and he was a good guy. He behind beyond all the, I like I like when he sang, you know what I'm saying. He was really into his music. The rapping side, he was really guys. So I was like, man, sing more, you know. I just miss friendship. I miss the fun, the funny times, clowning and stuff like that. I got a question. So, what is it about DC Young Fly that inspires you? Because everybody, when you have friendships, and especially like amongst colleagues. There's always something about that person that inspire you. What inspires you about him? I like DC Young Fly's work ethic. I love his work ethic. I love how um, he's he go from job to job, and it's like he motivates me. Like, bro, he's like he go from wild now to comedy shows, to eighty five South show, to R and B. He'll get up there and do R and B. Like mm -hmm. he going show to show to show. DC's a real, real human being. Like he's a real guy. He'll, he'll pick up the phone, call you, talk to you. Like, he'll, he'll call me randomly. What's what you up to? He ain't one of them when you got to call him all the time. Mm -hmm. You could tell it's a real friendship. You know, mm -hmm. um, I remember we did our first song together. He stayed in the studio, did it with me, met me in Nebraska. We shot the video. Nebraska, out of all places, uh -huh. <laughs> and shot the video with me. You know, that's in the middle of nowhere. Right. Um, one thing I love about DC, let's say, like, he, let's say he come to Kansas City. He got a concert. I'll be like, hey, bro, how much you gonna charge me to do the after party? Fool, I don't want no money from you. A, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, get this shit going and I'll be there. I got you. No, I got you. That's whole. You know, who doing that? <laughs> Not many. Not people. many.
<laughs> that's the, and I think that's noble of him to even be like that in this day and time. Because everybody, when they get to a certain status, you know, and I know they a lot of them don't don't stay the same. You know what I mean? That man Definitely. getting hundreds of thousands. That's of. right. A lot of them don't stay the same. A lot of niggas change when they get a little change. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've seen it, man. More so than, than than you know what I mean than none. I see it a lot. Bro. And the biggest thing I. I admire about this young fly. He prays twenty four seven. That's what I was waiting to hear from him. He prays twenty four. I'm talking about. He'll get right down on the knee right there and pray. Get up. Something else happened. Pray. Get up. He prays a lot. I love his relationship with God. He he motivated me to pray more. Mm -hmm. You know because yeah, yeah. you need that relationship with God. You need that relationship yeah. where you, where you one on one with Him and you stay protected. I feel like the reason I move how I move. My mama prayed for me all the time, mm -hmm. so I feel covered. You know I'm covered. My mama prayed for me. I said it in my songs. Man, I, I really admire his, how much he prayed. I like that man. He been through so so, so much here lately with our, everything with his with his baby mother passing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's one thing. I Chico Bean just left the show. Like like is them guys have a bun, man. That's why this show works for them. You know, um, and and just you know. Good dudes, man. Thanks. And it's crazy how all of them are so different. They, but they still all hang cool. Why well, I met Chico? Chico was just on there. Chico went on my Chico went there in eighty five. I went there, but Carlos in DC, I was with. Yeah, and uh, and Money Back Mafia. That, I remember you called me that night. What? How was it for you going on that show? They're my guys, man. You it know? was it was different. It wasn't like the normal interview. It's more just straight jokes. Yeah, yeah. They funny. be cutting up. Cutting up, laughing. Yeah, it was just out. I, I had a great time, man. Wow, that that's the crazy thing about it, man. You know, earlier you were saying something about you know certain people who don't pick up the phone. I always count that as God saying no. It's no. a reason why okay. that they don't pick up the phone because God don't want them to pick up the phone. It wasn't you don't want to, be. yeah. You don't want no relationship with somebody. That's God telling you how that person is. Thanks. I'm cool with that, yeah. and I let that person. That's His truth. Yeah. Whoever doing that. That's the truth, and I'm cool with it because yeah. I know who you are and I know how to play you. My yeah. move now. But what gets you know me what is like, what gets me is like, you didn't answer the phone, but say in the past two weeks where I'm super buzzing, I'm getting phone calls. For and, sure. You know, don't be, I don't, I, don't, I don't want no energy around me, bro. But that's where you you know what how to move. Yeah. And, it, and, and silence is violence. Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> you ain't hear me, man. The same people, yeah. <laughs> same people you see coming up, you're going to see them right That's here. right. When you, yeah. hey, silence will cut you off, man. When you when you stop talking and go and move, okay, I see it. I, I hear you loud and clear. You don't even have to say nothing to me, and, and, and you could, you say say so Facts. much to me. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Oh, yeah. You ain't <laughs> lying. You ain't lying. <laughs> so what's There's up? There's a lot of words in no Mr. words. Baker, what's up? Mm -hmm. What you think about that? Because you do me like that sometimes Ooh. around the house. I don't want to put our personal business out here. You don't never say something sometimes. Me? Look how she act innocent, man. Yeah. Not me. You give him the silent treatment? <laughs> yeah, she'll cut me off. Let me tell you what I do. I give him the silent treatment. It just depends on what about, it is. About 15 but minutes. But then, yeah. my, my, okay, I just started doing this last year. You and your spouse or your girlfriend, whoever have a disagreement. If you talk or try to say something, come in an argument, he was like, forget it. I'm not going to talk to you. I'll text. I'll go in the next room and I'll text whatever I gotta say and let him think about it. Then we'll come together and talk about it. Okay. That's what I do. <laughs> we men, we don't we don't think about it like that, bro. I mean, you text me, we'll look at it, we'll throw a heart back. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Women, women more emotional, men more very very logical. So yeah. I, I, so you done got married on me since you left the show? Oh no, man, no. You out there? You out there fishing? I love women. You out there fishing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm but sorry. you want to settle down one day? Nope. Why not? Nah, yeah. Chico Bean Jr. right now. Yeah, Chico, so Chico Bean you, you said you never get married. Mm -hmm. Is that? Nope. You you don't want to get married no, either. No man. I don't, no, I want I want freedom. Forever. I Forever was, ever. T. Ray, let me tell you something. If I put ten billionaires in this room and I say how many of y'all not married, it's only gonna be about one. That's not married. Damn. Better get you somebody. That's all. <laughs> oh, I'm going no, to be, be, be real honest with you. I'm going to be real honest. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, you like that companionship, but I just don't like competition. I don't like, I like to be grown. I've been doing my own thing since I was 14 years old. But I, you know, I don't like, I don't like feeling like you my mama. I don't want no mama. I want a woman. I don't want no mama. You know, my mama don't even tell me come inside. I like, I'm a rock star. I like being out two, two, three in the morning. I like being out four o'clock. I don't like to be told to come home at a certain time or where you been at. I hate that question. Where you been? What you doing? 
Oh, don't worry, I'm grown. I'm, I feel like I'm, if I want to go to the studio, sit there all night, if I want to get in my car, ride around all night, that's what I want to do. I don't want to sit to me ask 50 questions. This ain't, this ain't 50 Cent and, and Nate Dog. Don't ask me nothing. <laughs> I'm grown. But you got to find somebody who will understand the business. Well, maybe I need to find somebody to do what I do so we don't ask each other questions. Damn. Exactly. I got to ask you about Juvie, man. We talked about it briefly earlier. Just give me that spiel on how you and him even came up with that connection. Uh, I see and everything. Seem like everything is... is, is Juvie is... is is a is, is a real one too. Did you find out on Juvie Tuesday? Man, I'm in the Juvie Tuesdays. <laughs> I ate the uh, crawfish. I ate the fish. I ate the. Hey man, that shit was fire. But Juvie is a good dude. I, like I told you, them OGs, they where they at. Juvie uh, had me out there for Donna Fest. You know, uh, shout out to his wife. He, he, he throws it for her. Um, I performed in New Orleans. I had a great time with Juvie. That Juvie juice is good too. It is That's good. Yeah. What's so, in it? It's like a sel seltzer. They call it seltzer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I never had it. It's it's fire though. It's got different flavors. Mm. Is right. it alcoholic? Yeah, it's fire though. Get so you. hypothetically, if you and Juvie, uh, you know, they do the Hot Boy tour and he wants you to come out, I'm I mean, definitely coming. He gonna be there. What you think about that? BG coming home? Uh, the tour? You know, they talking. It's gonna be something. I'm for uh, anybody coming home from prison. I'm correct. for anybody getting home and being with their family and their kids and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. That's. I mean, a that prison not for no. Ain't a place for we're not animals. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I ain't gonna say nothing to some people that don't deserve to be there. But I'm saying I wouldn't wish it on nobody. No, hey, if you coming home and you spent your time and you did what you had to do, right. come home and do what you gotta do and be there for your family now. It's time for you to see the world and do what you gotta do as a star. BG's a star. Yeah. You know, he, he went in a star, he come out a star. Right. So it's just time for him to get his chance to do mm -hmm. to, to live what you what you missed. I mean, you, you ain't found one of them old BG songs that you can redo. You know, you the redo king. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't looked through his you nah, ain't look through, really through, through his catalog and see what's going on with him, man. Did BG make any R and B records? Uh, he was I don't know. He he gangster with it. You know that's baby. I know. Got, I want it. You, you got it. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you can do anything, man. You know, yeah. you, it's something about how I you take the people I'm sampling right now. Who I'm, who I'm really like sampling. That's like right now. I did uh, Charlie Wilson. What? Ooh. I got a Charlie Wilson record that I'm resampling. I got a really? Young Jock record I did. That's all. Okay. Um, I got a T Pain record I redid. Mm. Uh, I got a few of them, man. I, I just I just ain't dropped them yet. So basically, it's hard for me to drop. I'm like Empire's hard headed artists. They <laughs> always they always stop me from dropping records because clearance and this artist. This. So I'm, I told Los make me a website so I can drop my remixes for free. You know, I'll, I'll get them away for free. I, people just need to hear these. They hard because every studio session I'll do original music, but I always do me one remix for myself. Mm. It's just something that I always I you like enjoy it. doing it. I just feel like producers of today. And they can take it how they want to. Producers of today don't make that good R&B sound like they used to make in the early 2000s. Mm. I need, where's that churchy feel? And I feel like people ain't going to church no more. People ain't got that soul in them no more. Mm -hmm. So they losing that soul. Everything's up tempo and fast. And it's and okay. Quick. Is that what you like? Mm -hmm. That's what you like. But me, I want that good slow. I want to I wanna smash something. You know what I'm but people about numbers the people about what people gonna watch listen to but the numbers is there obviously if every time I remix it yeah. and it do numbers yeah. people missing that slow good people missing that good uh, love you more every day show you love in every way cause I love you who's making that no nobody well, you know, I be wondering what people making love to nowadays. And then the older R&B, the older R&B artists, they're trying to fit in with the new R&B artists. Usher, I want you to make an old <laughs> Usher record. Tyrese, please make me one of them old classic Tyrese records. Genuine, can I get one of them? Tank, can I get one of them? Mm -hmm. you, you, I'm still a fan of that sound of you. Mm -hmm. Can I get that one time? On, on, you can do all the news. Give me one. Man, you know, you just said something. Tyrese, man, he uh, been going through it here lately, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About his old situation, you know, having, uh, uh, you know, you know, he had some depressive issues going through it. You know, people been coming for Tyrese, man. Well, you love his music, man. Uh, what's up with Tyrese, man? Man, I, I watched a <laughs> YouTube <laughs> clip last night. <laughs> Tyrese a different brother, man. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. 
How you be so rich? Oh, I, money don't solve everything. Let me money stop don't solve no. everything. Let me, let me more stop money, there. more problem. More, more money, more problem. Because that man in the Fast and the Furious and that boy there, he's still he's still talented. He's like super crazy. talented. He's super but don't talented. Don't you think sometimes when people are so talented they run them into different avenues where that's what drives them into these places, bro? It, it could. You see it what could. I'm saying? It could. Sometimes you need a hug, bro. Some you got to think. Sometimes you, got some, you need a you need a you need a a tank like he talked to me. Sometimes you need somebody the that, right you, people around that, you, you. that you look up to to talk to you. Somebody mm -hmm. can help you mentally and, and be there motivational-wise for you to get you out them slumps. But you, you would think that because he's been doing what he's been doing for such a long time and the people that he's worked with for all these years, you would think that he would have that. But then his peers. Maybe he needs somebody who's a little older that he, you know what I'm saying, that he looks up to that he really got a lot of respect for. You know, my 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 brother can who same age as me could tell me something. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. But if my uncle tell me something, it hit different. Mm -hmm. it, it hit different. He might he probably need a not saying he, he probably need a Ronald Isley type of uh, age group to say something. Hey, you know, brother, chill out. You know, and, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, this is me. Oh, uh, I look up to older people. You know, because they've been through it, and I'm. They, tell, they don't know. I'm saying they got all the answers, but they 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 got. This, Majority, definitely, man. Hey, man, thank you for coming on the show. We about to about to wind it down, man. How can what are you here for a show tonight, right? Yeah, I'm at uh, Empire. Empire, man, that's hard. Yeah, I'm having a good time tonight. I ain't performed in weeks. I'm ready to turn up. Thank you. I told man. my boy Carlos. I said, hey, he, he Carlos has a niche for um, force feeding business on me too much. I'm big business real, but goddamn, I want to turn up sometime too. I'm like, hey, bro, I ain't performing in about two weeks. Chill out. Let me have a good time tonight. We in Dallas. My first time here in a long time yep. performing. Yep. I'm enjoying myself. We could be big business rail tomorrow. Tonight is big rail. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? We in Dallas. One of my favorite cities I ever. Come Let's to. go. Long live Mo 3. Man. I'm out here. What's popping? Man, I thank got a you, question. Man. Hold on. And this is totally different. But you know the um the show, The Mass Singer. Okay. So if you ever had to go on the Mass Singer, what um, costume would you want to wear? <laughs> she crazy. And what song would you sing to try to trick the judges up so they wouldn't know it was you? Uh, I'll probably be the Cookie Monster. <laughs> that's all. That's all. That's all. I'll probably be the Cookie Monster. I'll probably sing uh, some freaky. Some like what? Probably oh, <laughs> dive in by Trey Song. Hey, <laughs> man! Thank you so much, man. How can people get a hold of you if they try to rock out with T -Rail you? T Rail seven eight five, T Rail music on um, TikTok. Just T Rail seven eight five, everything. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, brother. We love you. Love you too, man. Man, and it's been when I get to make the new Boss Talk song, man. When you ready? Whenever I mean, you when say it, we gonna ready. play it. Can I make the new Boss Talk? I when mean, you play, man, yeah. come on, we waiting on you. Okay, I'm gonna make check it, man. Hey, man, listen, <laughs> man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. T Rail just showed up, man. It blowed up, man. It's going down. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk, and we out.